I'm seeing a quadratic equation here. So I'm going to try to rewrite it so it looks like a quadratic equation. So I'm going to use this temporary u substitution. If I say u equals cosine x, I can say u squared equals cosine squared x. Then that lets me re rewrite this equation so it looks more simple. Then I'm going to try to factor it. So let's see, if I, I'm going to try 5u, 2u, and not much choice for 1. And I think this is going to factor easier than I thought it was going to. So I get uh, 10u squared plus 2u plus 5u is 7u plus 1. Yep, so we're set. So I know when u equals negative 1 fifth, is a solution and when u equals negative one half there's a solution and then of course I probably want to return this back to uh, cosine so I'm looking for where values of x is the cosine equal to negative one fifth and what values of x is cosine equal to negative one half okay so that just requires doing the inverse uh, cosine right or our cosine so I did that on my calculator, and I came up with these two answers. Okay, and then I graphed them. And then I decided, well, you know, I also know that cosine is negative in two different quadrants. So I just know it's negative over here in quadrant two, and it's negative over here. So there might be more than one answer on this. So I drew in that reference triangle. I know that that reference angle down here is also 78.5. So that means in order to find this angle here, let me get a different color. But to get this angle here, I need to add that reference angle to 180. Okay, and then on the same for, for the cosine 1 half, we get the same thing going on. Draw that reference triangle. So that's 60 also. And that means that other reference, reference, I mean that other angle of rotation is going to be 180 plus 60 or 240. All right. So I think those are the four answers, 120, 240, 101.5, and let's see, what is that, 258, if I'm doing my arithmetic right, 258.5. And then if we look at the graph of it as a check, here we go, we get the four answers. Okay, so that's how you tackle quad, uh, trig compressions or trig, trig equations that have quadratics with it. Now, you've got to check for extraneous roots sometimes. This one didn't have one. Hope that helps.